If there's one thing I'm good at in life. It's making a it's, mess. It's driving my wife a little bit crazy. Yes. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> I'm Steve. I'm Donna. And we are Happy Art Treasures. We are resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Rehomers of stuff. We are full time, and this is what we do. And my wife loves being with me every single day, every no matter day. what. Every, every single day. Every day. day. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have uh, about a dozen things going out today, and we want to tell you show you explain to you how our money isn't any good oh my goodness <laughs> but we we'll get into that we'll explain that here shortly yes. and we also at the towards the end of this video we are going to be choosing a meal ready to eat or an mre and we're going to have that either for late lunch or for dinner tonight but it will be on I this picked video goulash. oh you looked at them already okay goulash it is so we will try the goulash later in the video but for now let's get started grabbing a few things that are sold all right donald let's do we have three things from upstairs we grabbed them let's just do those quick okay here's danger girl comic book Look how unrealistic that waist is. There is no way anybody could have a waist like that. Yeah. And this sold for $27.59. That's awesome. Where's it going, Donna? Uh, I don't know. It's going to Illinois. We're good. <laughs> uh, next up, we have a CD. And this also came from the comic lot. There was like one CD in there that I did list. And it sold for, I don't even know what it is. I don't know what it sounds like. I think it's like technical, techno music. Orbital, 20 Orbital Best Of remixes for 20 years. And that sold for $12. And that is going to Illinois. <laughs> okay. This is yours, Donna. This is, whoopsies, a Bibla Svatya. Oh. Mm. I think it's Czech Bible from, from, I can't remember the year. Where'd you get that? Uh, um, a clean out. A clean out. That sold for $32.17. I'm trying to find the year, honey, money. Look, it was dedicated in 1930. Yeah. So. $32.17, and it is going to Missouri. All right, now let's go to box 93. 93. We actually have two things coming out of here, and they are both pipes. So you gotta get to the pipes and then you're gonna find one. Here's a smart egg. Someone needs to buy that smart egg because it looks interesting. I don't see any okay, the first one, pipes in here, babes. There should be little bags. Nope. Oh no, no, they're just on the side. See it? Oh. Phew. Okay, one is a the straight one should say K Whittle drinkless on the side of it. Yes, yeah, this is Drinkless K Woodle, K Woody, something like that. This sold for $14.99 and it is going to Texas. Okay. And the other pipe, uh, this one is a Proctus Deluxe 20 uh, pipe and it sold for $14.99. Where is it going? And that is going to Pennsylvania. Have we done that one? We have not done Pennsylvania. <gasps> Yay! Time to color. Do you want me to mark it? No! <laughs> Pennsylvania. It's like a good one for maybe orange right there. Uh oh. Orange. Boop, boop. Right. Okay. Now what? Next up, you want to get into the flashlights? Okay. And we actually have two of these. I'm sorry. My bad. We have two of these to go out, and, and you want to show them again in case somebody didn't watch the other video? Yes, but we need to check and make sure they're in there. I also need to make sure I have the 50 cent price tag stickers off the box. Yeah, we checked them all. They all have the lenses in there. Okay. So these are military flashlights. I got them for 50 cents each, and this one, the first one sold for $10 and is going to Colorado, and we did the other day, and the second one... Sold for eleven ninety nine, which is what I have them listed for, and it go into Ohio, which is already on the board. Okie dokie. There's this thing 
this thing called a bank, and it's really a money store because that's where you get your money. Right. Right? So they deal in... Money. Money. That's what they do. So you take your money there. They put it in your bank. You uh, go there and pull money out of your bank. You go there and get change when you need it. However... This is this is falls under the one of those who learn something new every day. We did not know this. We learned something new yesterday. If we your went, money's dirty, we went yesterday, and every now and then we fill a change jar, and doing the dollar auction, we end up with a lot of change, and you know storage units and stuff. We all just throw it in a change jar, and every now and then, we take it in and yeah. we just cash it in. We put yeah. it into our account, whatever. We did that yesterday. Well, we got done, and they were like, "Here, this money uh, we can't take because it's." Too dirty. And the feds won't take it. So we live in a country where the fed deals with all your money, but if it's too dirty, then you're, you know what, out of luck. So she came back with the, uh, with the pouch and she, she said, this money is too dirty. We can't take it. And I was like, really? So what do you do with dirty money? So, you know, at first I was like, well, that's weird. So then Donna like started asking questions and she's like, well, what do you mean you can't take it? Like you're the bank. And they said, it won't go through our machine because it's too dirty. And when we turn it into the fed it won't go for them to buy machine. it, it won't go in their machine. And so they, you know, there's nothing we can do. We can file a form or something with the fed, but we're talking about so literally $5 they or so. They can't count it with their fingers. Well, but then the fed won't count it with their fingers. So, we're not mad at the bank because no, it's obviously as a comes, Fed people? policy. Look, how so many basically, dollars? we have. What do you got here, Donna? I don't know. And some of it is really dirty. I mean, like you know, like right, right there. There's a Canadian one. I'll I give can them see that. One. Okay, give them the Canadian. Yeah, but some of them, like that quarter right there. I mean, some of these are not bad, honestly. Maybe the other side is. I mean, it's dirty, but so. Plus, how do you wash them? Do you just scrub them with a the toothbrush? Like, is that is that what we need to do? I don't know. So while she's counting, I'll just tell you what my idea was. I said, well, what do we do with this money? And I thought, I hopefully we could feed meters with it downtown. <laughs> or when we go through drive throughs I told Donna, let's put it in the van. And when we go through drive through and it fits our bill is $6.47, let's give them $0.47 cents of dirty money and pass it on to somebody else. Is that Would you do that? Is that uh, unethical to pass on some cents that our bank wouldn't take? Or should we throw it away? Should we try to wash it? Should we? What, what should we do? What should we do with this money? Donna is still counting. We have one, two, three, four, five, six dollars that the bank wouldn't take in a few pennies because they were dirty. So six bucks. Six bucks and a few pennies. What would you do with this money? What, what's your thought on that? Yeah. I kind of got my feelings hurt. Yeah, we want some feedback on this because we are curious. Like, <laughs> would you sprinkle it in? Like, okay, if we go through drive through and our change is well, 47 cents, it? what if we just throw a couple coins in? People paid for stuff with that. Yeah, I mean, we got it somewhere. Some of it came from storage units and, and stuff. And so but how does the Fed, like, take money out of circulation? Is it just like, oh, well, now you got to throw it away because nobody's going to take it? Oh, yeah. I don't no. <laughs> well, That's like either. really flushing your money <laughs> down the toilet. But then it would plug it. So, yeah. Donna's wor was worked up over it. I'm, I'm irritated, tell? but, you know, she's worked up. And another thing, if we're worked up, right before we started filming, Donna came upstairs. I was working in the office this morning, and our insurance went up another $50 Dude. a month. We Our, have okay. one vehicle. Two. She's not very good we at this have, game. We have a van, and it's old. We have a van. It's old. And our daughter's car is on there because it's in your name. And she has a car, but she pays for it. Two. Okay, so just yeah. for reference. Yeah. There's no, I think Jada had one accident, but I think it was over two years ago. And now she's 21, so we don't even have an underage driver on our policy anymore. Two years ago when, two years ago right now, in May of or May of 2022, I looked back and we were with Allstate and we were paying 150, 140, seven dollars, about 150 dollars for an underage driver. That's she was 19 years old. Yeah. Two years later, 
We haven't had any claims. We haven't had any homeowner claims. We haven't had any claims on anything. We haven't had any chips fixed, have we? Yeah, I don't think so. Anyway. Uh, we are now going up to $300 a month. It is doubling Double. in two years. Now, I understand price increases completely. Everything's going up. Well, come on, people. But I think there's a difference between price increases and gouging, and so, I think it's ridiculous. So, give us some pointers. What companies do you use? Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but yeah, the point of Refer saying us. Jada was 19 at the time, now she's 21. Yeah. She's just finishing her junior year in college. She hasn't had any issues. Like, I don't understand. I understand increases, but... To me, it's ridiculous. So we were fired up before we even started filming, honestly. <laughs> Grr. Grr. And I'm sure a lot of you have the same issues, you know, especially when now it comes to insurance. Everything's gone up, and now our money's broke. So. Yeah, yeah. now our, everything gone up, and our money is no good. <laughs> so, so anyway, what would you do yeah. with this $6? Would you sprinkle it back into the economy in drive throughs or try to use them in meters? or what, Flush it. What, what would you do? Or flush it. Would you try to wash it? whatever what would you do okay all right all right next. let's go <laughs> what's next all right donna let's go to box number 91 i was just in there man yeah well after that we're going to 92 so you might as well grab 92 since it's in your hand 91's heavy why did you put it back there <laughs> it's just where it fell on the table on the shelf all right look we're going to box 92 first and in there is some more pipes. We sold a third pipe. This one has a metal. It What's says metal name? on it. Metal! And I'll open this one just to show you. This is a unique pipe. This one says Viking on the back. You probably can't read it on there, but it's metal. It has a metal, metal stem. So anyway, this sold for $25. That's cool. Oh. It's made of metal. It's okay. Okay. And it's going to Iowa. Iowa? We don't have Iowa yet. We don't. What color should Iowa be? Ooh, it's uh, touching all the co all blue. The colors. Blue. Blue. Blue, it's not touching yet. Look at there. All right, and then in box 91, we're looking for a... It's a Jadeite Fire King Bowl. Is that it? Yep. Oh, it's bigger than I thought. Oh. Ooh. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, that's a big bowl. Anchor Hawking. Heat resistant. Number 16. Made in the U.S. of A. U.S. of A. $15 right there. And this is going, staying in the U.S. of A and going to Missouri. Three more things, Donna. Okay. Let's grab box uh, 95. <laughs> We might as well just do our work in here. There's no room though because somebody put their boxes on the floor. Complain, complain, complain. Oh, this is that oh. blue box right there. This, if you watch our videos, we just got last weekend, I think. Oh. I paid $20 for this. It's a golf GPS thing. Come on, Jig. It sold for $60. So that's going out and it's going to. That's nice. Mm, MI. Where's MI? MI in Michigan? We already did Michigan. It's not Michigan. It's not Mississippi. M I S S I S S. It's not Maine. M I is Michigan. Because what else would Michigan be? M C. There's no M C. M G. No, there's no M G. <laughs> we're, we're calling it Michigan, guys. Don't put that on there. I'm gonna. No, because yes. that's dumb. I'm being stupid. Yeah, well, we're stupid. <laughs> All right. Next up is a pair of sandals, a pair of Clark's shoes. These were actually my mother's. Mamas! That is them right there. Clark's shoes are sold for $20. Oh, we might have something else to show. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And those are going to Pennsylvania, which is already on the board. Two Pennsylvanias yeah, in two. one day. Crazy. Uh, let me see what just happened. We just sold something else. We'll get to it in a little bit. Okay. And the last thing, except for that, in 21. Oh, get to stay out here. And this came from the St. Louis bins. Oh. We're looking for a puzzle. It's a tarot puzzle. Ooh. Right there. Donna picked this up in the St. Louis bins. That's awesome. And this sold for $15. And it's going to Florida. Sunny, sunny Florida. Cool. All right, and then what just sold is in box X. Give me a hint. No, don't. Let me look. 
It says like we got these from the Goodwill. We've had these for a long time, so I don't really know for sure. Let's see if we can figure it out. There it probably ain't much in there. It's gotta be these. That's it, yes. Oh. Yep, light bulbs. They're I don't think we'd get those at the Goodwill though. Yeah, we did. We did? When we went So with two food. of them, a lot of two. Are they all the same? Uh there's it's yep, that's it right there. Um when we went with Ruth and Larry to Grand Islands. Oh, okay. Must have got them for cheap. Yep. So two of those just sold for ten dollars and forty-nine cents. And they are going to California. Okie dokie. So we only have two states to color in today. Blue and... Iowa and Pennsylvania. What are you doing? Watching you color. <laughs> I won't put it in. That'd be boring. You're doing a great job, though. You... Did you just go outside the lines? I did. Oh. What am I going to do with you? Because you're watching me. <laughs> you know, when I worked at Pepsi and Amy would come in and we'd be working on something. Amy was my boss. I couldn't type when she was watching. So, we don't know if you can color when we're watching? I can't. I can't, like... Careful there. That's a little space. You guys make me nervous we... when you're watching. All you people watching right now... You're making her nervous. Stop watching. Mm -hmm. But don't stop watching. Don't stop watching, <laughs> but stop watching. All right, as she's finishing up Pennsylvania, there you go. That's uh, There's our updated map right there. And usually I take it down. I'm not usually coloring above my head on the wall. Well, you're doing a fabulous job. Oh, thanks. All right. <laughs> There you go. You handled the pressure well. I handled it. And we filled it. in a couple holes there. So that's nice. Yay. Okay, before we move on and I get to shipping and everything, I can't ship right now because but no bubble wrap. You guys, it lasted how long? When I did it that lasted. shipping video and yeah. I used so much bubble wrap, I had a half, not even a half roll left, and it lasted this long. Good job. It's, I've done Good really job. well. I've cut way down on my bubble wrap Good usage, job. and we haven't broken anything yet. So. Good job. All right, so we're going to do a little time lapse. It's kind of a pain to put two rolls up here, but we're going to do a time lapse and show you guys yes, us struggling you guys, with it. We're trying to get to 2000. So 2000 like what? and subscribe. Well, yeah. What? Oh, <laughs> sorry. My brain doesn't work all the time. Yeah. Yeah, like and subscribe. If you're still watching this and you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It would be awesome. It would help our channel. We would really appreciate it. Yes. And yeah, let's put some bubble wrap up. Okay. All right, there it is. There's our bubble wrap. Let's see how long it takes him, you guys. Uh, I think it's gonna take me a long time because I've gotten so much better. Okay. My progress has been wonderful. <laughs> All right. All right, let's, uh, we're gonna skip forward now. We're gonna do some work and then we're gonna get back to this video and we'll have some MRE lunch or dinner, one or the other. Yeah, we'll here, see you in a bit. Here we go. All right, we are here. We're here. It's seven o'clock. It's dinner time. I'm nervous. Here's dinner if we like it. Nervous. Menu 22 beef goulash, beef with brown rice, spinach, carrots, tomatoes, and smoked paprika. We're going to lay it all out. We have no idea. We've never opened one. We don't know nothing. We're going to lay it out, see what we got to do, and figure it out. Our lighting is bad, but you know, it's not a studio, it's a kitchen dining room. So it is what it is. All right, we've peeled the seal. Now, let's see what's in here. There it is. There's dinner. <laughs> you know, <laughs> our military is amazing. I can tell you that already if they have to eat. Maybe this is delicious. Maybe it is. Is there going to be like, I hope there's good instructions and I hope there's not a lot of cooking. Can I you hate scoot cooking. Over here? No, I'm fine. 
She just wants to be closer to me. Is there no instructions? I'm assuming they're on here. Well, nothing on that, yeah. All right, we got a Zapple sauce, applesauce. We got a... Look, this is applesauce. Okay. Does it have a date? <laughs> The Julian code, there's a Julian code on the package and it says the first letter, first number is the year and it's just good for 10 years so they don't put like two dates on the year. So the first one was nine. So this should be from 2019, should be good till 2029. If this is from 2009, well, we probably won't eat much of it, but we'll see. This is white wheat what? snack bread. I think it's good. I think it's just from 2019. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. What do you have? White wheat snack bread. I have jam. Jam. Strawberry jam. And we have do not overfill. Ready to eat heater. This is a heater. It says operating instructions. Bag pouch heater lines fold on top. Oh my goodness. You have to do that one. So it heats it. Okay, we got a, a spork. spoon. Oh, a spoon? A spoon. This says milk chocolate cocoa beverage powder. Okay. Milk Ooh. chocolate. Oh, this one says sugar cookies. Patriotic. Oh, okay. I get this bag. Wait. I get <laughs> Are they, they feel kind of broken. They do feel kind of broken, but you know. Chunky peanut butter. I like peanut butter. Okay, she gets the peanut butter. I get the... So peanut butter, strawberry jam, and bread. I can do that. Okay, apple here's, sauce. here's the main thing. There's this, too. This. Beef goulash. There's stamps on it. But I don't know what they mean. Well, I have some gum. You got gum? Look at that. And we got... Lighthouse, what is this? A napkin? We got moist towelettes. A um, napkin? Yep. Okay. Boy, they thought of everything. Uh, napkins, moist towelettes, salt, no pepper, and a beverage base, raspberry. So maybe a bottle of water, put it in there for raspberry flavor? Yeah, you must have time to bottle okay, of water. Okay, let's get into this beef goulash. MRE's menus, MRE menus are designed to meet the unique nutritional needs of war fighters. That's us. Or resellers. Resellers. All right. This don't tell me much. This is just an informational sleeve thing. I don't know. I think we got to go <laughs> you gotta here. You got to put it in here. I think we got to go here. So open the, tear off the top of the bag, place the MRE pouch in the bag with heater. While holding the MRE pouch and heater above lines on the bag, right there, pour water into bag until it reaches a level between the lines. Slide heater of MRE to bottom of bag and fold top of bag to side opposite heater. Okay. Wait, do we need to call Larry? <laughs> no, we don't need to call Larry. You we gotta can do this. put water in it? Yes. Do we put this I in don't, there? The cardboard sleeve does not go in there. All right, we're going to open this. Place the emery pouch in bag with heater. So the heater's in here. Are we making this really difficult? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay, put it in there. And then what? While holding the MRE pouch and heater above lines on bag, that's above this, I think. Okay, because it gets hot. Pour water into bag until it reaches a level between lines. Slide heater and MRE to the bottom of bag and fold top of bag to the opposite of heater. So it will go like that, yes. Okay. That's we'll what it will some, do. Get some water in that thing. So we put. Do not overfill. Oh, we only put this much water in it? Down here? Yes. Here's lines. Do not overfill. It just has this little bit. All right, we're going to go try to do this. All right, we are right at the second line. So it says do not overfill. Hopefully I didn't. Okay. All right, now it says with heater underneath MRE, hold sleeve level 
until a heater feels warm or one minute elapses. I don't feel nothing. Well, it said up to a minute. If it doesn't get hot, maybe it's too old. Maybe it is 10 years older than we thought. I don't know. After 10 to 15 minutes, depending upon air temperature, top half of bag can be torn off, the MRE can be removed and eaten. So it's 10 to 15 minutes of this cooking. Do you feel it? I don't feel anything yet. It hasn't been a minute yet. Is it even getting wet? It's not even getting water on it because you didn't push the heater all the way down. Rookie mistake. I make a lot of rookie now mistakes. Now it's getting hot. Oh my goodness. Is it? Yes. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I can, I can hear it. So it has... Oh, we're supposed to put it in this cardboard sleeve. Look at it. See the cardboard sleeve? <laughs> we're... Okay. And it says heater. Lean against the heater and then lean against a rock or something that says... Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ruth and Larry are laughing. We are not going to survive the apocalypse, you guys. Oh my goodness. Even if we have food. Oh, I smell it. Okay. Okay, lean it against a rock. A rock? <laughs> I'm a rock, a big dumb okay, rock. Get it, cup. There you go, get a cup, put it on the plate. Pretend it's it there. a rock. And we're going to, it's, it's been about two minutes. We're going to come back hey, in eight minutes. But we have to make our drink. Oh. And we have to open some stuff. There's applesauce and the spoon that fell on the floor. This is going to make the video pretty long, but you know what? It's if, crooked. The, the people that want to watch it will watch it. Okay, let's try this. All right, what are we doing? Applesauce? Yes. What do we got? We got peanut butter, strawberry jam. Do we have some kind of bread thing? Yeah. Yeah, we got Here, white you wheat like snack applesauce. bread. We'll save the cookies for last. Here, let's set this to the side. Okay, you try we it first. We about applesauce. I have to. Yes. <laughs> Mom, I love you. <laughs> if, I, if I don't make it back. It tastes fine. That's actually pretty good. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty good applesauce right there. All right, because this is what you're getting for supper. <laughs> this, is, this is supper. Here you go. Mama feed me. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty good applesauce right there. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, should we... Uh, Try... This is going to be white wheat snack bread, and we have chunky peanut butter and strawberry jam. You have to make the milk. Oh, we got to do... Do what you got to do with the chocolate milk. Milk chocolate cocoa beverage powder. Open the zipper. Hold on. I'm going to go get Two your water the top, bottle. Open the zipper. Six ounces of hot or cold water to fill line. Close zipper. Shake to mix. Consume promptly within one hour. Promptly. You have to fill it, but only two, six ounces. So this is... 16.9 ounces. Here, you do this. How do I know how many ounces? Well, half of it would be eight. Is this the fill line That's right there? That's the fill there? line right okay. there. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Oh, we got a ways to go. Whoa. Okay. So zip it back up. Shake the crap out of it. Thing is, you gotta have water, I guess. Okay. All right, we got a clear glass. All right, you shook it good? Yeah. Here we go. Looks like chocolate milk, chocolate oh. water. <laughs> it's chocolate milk. All right, your turn. You go first. It tastes just like chocolate milk. Does it? It's very chocolatey. Mm-hmm. Mmm, chocolate.
It's fine. Mm -hmm. It's not... Beverage-based raspberry. Read what we have to do with it's this. Not, it, what's the Nesquik? Nesquik powder? Yeah. It tastes like Nesquik, honestly. Yeah, I'm not complaining about that right there. All right, let's... All right. I don't appreciate chocolate milk like you do, so... <clears throat> That's... So we are, uh, I think, two thumbs up. I mean, it's not your drink of choice, but... Yeah, I like that. I think we're two sauce. thumbs up, like, quality-wise or whatever. No, we're doing this, right? Yeah. Or should we do that? Let's do a food thing. This. The water? Okay, beverage-based raspberry tie. It looks like just a dump in and... Uh, add contents to 20 ounces of fluid water and agitate. Just pretend it's 20. We're just going to pretend it's 20 ounces. It might be a little strong and that will be our own fault. Well, that's an interesting looking piece of... It's a bread. Oh. Oh, this is 16 Don't, don't point, you spill it. 16.9 ounces bottle and it's supposed to be 20 ounces and it wasn't full. So this is probably going to be pretty strong, so we have to take that into consideration. Raspberry. Is it my turn? Yeah. Sure. It's for just fine. Raspberry flavored water. It's just a little bit strong because of the mix. Oh yeah, like Kool-Aid. But that's, yeah, it tastes like Kool-Aid, honestly. Okay. Man, we keep this up, I might have to go sign up for the military. <laughs> Okay. Maybe not. Creamy peanut butter. All right. I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is fun, honestly. This is a good time. She's got creamy peanut butter. I don't care. I got get it strawberry open. jam. I'm using the scissors. You oh, guys. you ain't gonna have scissors out in the field. But I have them here, so. All right. Jeepers. See? Told you. Peanut butter. Do you want to put both together or do you want yes. to do half and half or what? Because you just went down the middle. Mm. I like peanut butter, you guys. We got to save room for the jam. You put it on top. You're doing it all together? Okay. Like peanut butter and jelly like I tried to have today, but we don't got no jelly. <laughs> That's true. She wanted peanut butter and jelly. And look at we got peanut butter and jelly. Didn't even know. <laughs> you had it the whole time. Okay. Um, we bought... Eight or ten of these. We paid four dollars for the whole thing. We have sold one, two, three. I think we sold three of them for a total of like seventeen dollars. So we still have like four or five more. Okay. So as far as reselling goes, it was a good buy. <laughs> we didn't put anything on eBay. That was just on dollar auction. Because we don't like to cook. So here, you want to do it all, or that's good. We'll mix that in. All right. But look at us, we're cooking. Yep. We're cooking on camera. We're cooking. Okay. I hope the goulash is decent because we ain't gonna have nothing to wash it down with. We're eating everything else. Ah, cookies. There you go. Try it. Is it my turn? It's your turn. Mm. I have to try the goulash. But the big question, I guess, is the bread, huh? Well, you're a mess. Do you want napkins? No. <laughs> It tastes like communion bread. I've never had communion bread this thick. That's for sure. Tastes pretty good though. I like that too. That's not bad. I want to say something bad about it. You know, write something a little worse, but... But if you're out in the sticks and oh, this is what yeah, you oh. have to eat, you would think this was a gourmet meal. Absolutely. Okay, now let's see what to do with this. All right, can you see the napkin? Whoa. Whoa, don't spill the applesauce all over. Oh, there's multiple napkins. Oh, little ones. For multiple foods. Okay. All right, guys. Take the rock. Move the rock. Move the rock. Is it hot? Is it hot? Yeah. It's hot enough for us. It's been like 10 minutes. They said 10 to 15 minutes. I think it's been about 12. We're going to remove the MRE. All right. 
Yeah, yeah. I think it's 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 you pretty need warm. This to wipe it off. It's pretty warm. No, that's all right. It's just a little water, right? Yeah. I mean, we won't worry about what the chemicals are that heated the water. I'm sure they're good. <laughs> they're flammable. All right. Well, not flammable. That's what I said. Don't be put by open heat or something. No, I suppose. You need scissors. I wouldn't have scissors in the bush. You would have a knife. In the desert. In the. You would. That's oh, true. Ding dong! It top it ties it tears this. Does way. it? I was wondering why. Uh, Okay, let's. This would be like a street taco, goulash style. Oh. Give me the. I'm getting there. Don't just. Don't get it on your shirt. Well, I will, but. Here. So cut that. We're gonna <laughs> cheat. We can edit it out. All right, goulash. The looks. Empty it onto the... It looks... Yeah, let's... Uh, well, okay. Because I'm like, what the heck is in that? But it did say... All kinds of fancy stuff on it. It said... Goulash with... Rice. Rice, spinach, carrots, tomatoes, and smoked paprika. So it's not like plain old goulash like... Donna or my mom makes, which I really, really With like. This is macaroni like macaroni and all kinds of funky ketchup. stuff. That looks like a real beef right there. A real beef. Yeah, look at that. You can try that. Uh, whose turn is it? Your turn. Is it my turn? <laughs> I'm not trying that first. That's meat. Okay. I'll, is there a smaller meat? <laughs> all right. Here's a spoonful. Oh, here. Maybe you didn't get to see it good. There you go. Mom, I love you. <laughs> Our soldiers eat this. I know, but I'm I'm really a picky eater. Take a spoonful. What do you think? It's real meat. That's more meat than you get here. You don't like it because... I don't like it. Because there's... Because you see spinach. It's... No. It's a, no, I have a completely open mind about it. I don't like spinach, but... I don't like the texture. I don't like the... Just the meat. I don't like the... Flavor. I don't know. I just don't like it. We were on such a roll. I like the meat. Do you want some of this to wash it out? Yeah, I'm not a fan. Ooh. No. Donna can have that for dinner. Yeah, we were on a good roll, but that's that's not it. I'm okay. not I don't like that. I'll take a Mama, can I have some applesauce? <laughs> before we have sugar cookies for dessert. Alright. Better. That's better. Hold on, let me get some raspberry, raspberry water. Wash that down with. Donna cheated. She brought a soda out to the. I haven't tried it yet. Out to the. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You haven't drank it. Mm -hmm. All right. Are we good? Are we got ready for dessert. Yep. And All then right. you have gum. Oh, then we have gum. No instructions for this. I think it's just. Tear it open and I dig think in. I think they're all broken too, yeah. Ooh, cheapers. Rawr, no, I'm strong. <laughs> they are busted up sugar cookies. We'll dump them out and let's try some. Alright, well there's applesauce on there. We're gonna taste like applesauce on my cookies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We gotta get each authentic flavor. Okay, dig and don't mix my food. Oh, there's even a oxygen absorber in there. All right, here's the sugar cookies. Your turn. Oh, we have one not broken. We have bells for liberty. We have oh, that's oh, broken. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. 
Got a flag. We got flags and bells. These are the most patriotic sugar cookies I've ever seen, which it makes sense. It said patriotic, didn't it? Yeah. What Put was a this? There was a, a something round. I wonder if it was a coin. Here's a star. Here's a round. Oh, and here is a round. A coin. Is that a... A coin. Eagle? I think that's an eagle. Pretty sure that's an eagle. Okay, eat your cookie. All right, let's eat. Yep. That's a good sugar cookie right there. It tastes like Girl Scout uh, shortbread cookies. Yeah, shortbread. Yep. So, if we were in Apocalypse, we have learned today that if we had some of these, we could at least eat a little bit. If, if we had some. <laughs> if we had water. Mm -hmm. And if we had scissors, because we can't figure out how to open everything. <laughs> or a big knife. Stab um, it. No, that's, uh, they're not, they're not wrong with Daisy that. Daisy says she wants a bite. Come here. You want me to give Bella a little bite? Where's Bella? She's right here. They like the cookies. Bella, All right. Bella gave it a solid 10 out of 10, I think. So, thank you everybody for watching us. Yeah, this was fun. Um, and thank you, Harry you... Tornado and Haley, for the idea because we saw them do it first. We did see them do it once. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what do you rate it out of 10 overall? For. If you were in a restaurant and this was exactly what they brought out, they brought it out and they served it to you, in a how, would you rest, how would you rate the food? In a restaurant? A cheap restaurant. Four. Four? But if I was camping. And I had to eat this, or bugs, or fish, well, then I would rate it a 10. Fish. Yeah. No, it's good. I just didn't like that, but it was good. So, yes. So, I overall, think, eight. Overall, I would say overall, like, seven, because I didn't like the flavor, but overall, it was really good. Surprisingly good. I'm very I think they surprised. have stuff for every palate. They have chocolate milk. They have... Flavored water, they have applesauce, they have peanut butter and jelly, they have crackers, they have gum, yeah. and then they have the protein. So, even if you didn't like the protein, you could still have the peanut butter. That's right. So. All right, cool. I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. We hope that you uh, found some entertainment value in this. <laughs> and, you know, who we knows? had fun. Who knows what we're going to be doing next. So, we'll see you on the next one for Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. See you next time. Bye. Hey, good morning. There's one right there, too. Let me get it. What are you going to do? You had your, Pluck it? Your hat was on. You had hat hair when I cut it. No, I didn't. Yeah. Uh -uh. I'm getting... <laughs> Don't you my barber dare. is finishing up my haircut. Don't you dare. We missed a spot. <laughs> <laughs>